Ahoy well, there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. It's neighboring time to out. Score for the fascinating new three-dimensional family game from Lakeside Industries. This is for two or four players, taking about I don't know five to ten minutes to play. And in score four, this is a game in which you're going to try to get four beads in a row, either vertically, horizontally, diagonally, di diagonally at an angle. It plays a lot like Connect 4, but you're going to be doing it on this really interesting uh, three-dimensional structure in which you're going to be placing the beads on top of each other trying to do this. Dare I say it, is this a Connect 4 killer? Let's open it up and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of score four. So first and foremost, we have our handy dandy back of the box. Uh, it's very well done. It should have you up and running in no time at all. It's still a really simple game, so I can teach you how to play it right now. Pretty much all you're going to need is just this right here. And these are all different advanced ways you can play the game. Now, I have not tried with the advanced scoring because the kids just like the really simple version of the game. But it actually adds a little bit more strategy because uh, depending on the levels that you put the beads, you'll actually be scoring more or less points. Uh, there's a tournament mode, and there is a four-player mode, which we did play quite a few times, which we really liked as well, but I'll talk more about that in pros and cons. So in score four, you're going to first assemble this right here by sticking all these little metal rods into this board right here. Pretty simple. Uh, next, you're also going to get all this stuff. For some reason, they give you cups. I guess the cups are to put your, your beads in, maybe? But it just it doesn't make any sense to me, because you can really easily just put all the beads in the outside like this and I actually really liked uh, the design of this like this is a really well done how they did this so you're pretty much never going to use these little cups so you can just throw them off to the side so in score four this is a lot like connect four what you're trying to do is you're trying to get four in a row in a variety of different ways so first way you could do it is you could do it the very obvious way which if someone lets you do it this way then they're kind of dumb or maybe they're probably a kid if they're going to let you do this but one, two, three, four. Hooray for me. I've got four in a row. You also could do it uh, like this. Across. Boop. Boop. And now you've got four in a row. Uh, you also could do it, let's see, like this and kind of do it diagonally. See how I have one, two, three? If I can get the fourth bead up to be four in a row as well, you can do it like that. And I believe there's only four ways to do it. So you can do it vertical, like I showed you. You can do it uh, diagonal, so you could go one, two, three, four if you wanted. You can get it angled, horizontal, or angled uh, diagonal. So you could potentially have one, and then the second, and then the third, and the fourth. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, when you're done with the game, you just boop, 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 take them all off, put the pins back on, and you're ready to rock and roll. So let's just uh, show you exactly how it works. So white might go right here, then brown might go right here, and then white might go right there. And then brown's like, oh, no, 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 you're not doing that to me, buddy. I'm going to block that. But then white was secretly like, ha, 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 little did they know I was trying to go diagonal, so I'm actually going to go right here. And then black's going to be like, oh, man, I'm close to there. And then white might be like, no, I'm going to block you, buddy. You're not getting it that easy. Because um, this is not four in a row. They all have to be on the same level. But black still might go there. And then white might be like, hmm, I'm going to go right here. And then black's like, wait, what's the jig? Are they trying to get one, two, three, four? Well, that's what I'm going to try and do, too. So black might go like this and really put some pressure on it because now they have two right there. And then white might go over here to help them out but also to block that. But then black's like, all right, well, now we're cooking because look, 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 look. They have one, two, three. And now white's like, oh, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to get to four in a row right here. Then white might be like, hmm, what should I do? I'm going to go right here. But then all of a sudden... So white's like, yeah, I just won the game almost because I got two, two. I just need to go there and I win. But then black was like, ha ha, I just snuck up on you and I got you, sucker. And boom, black wins the game. And then you take all the pins out and you restart. And that's what you're going to be doing inside of score four. Bloop. Upside down. Alrighty then, score four from Lakeside Industries. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros. Let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, game is not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. Uh, this is an abstract strategy game. It's very light. It's very simple. Uh, I will say that, and this is this is a con with a lot of abstract strategy games, that if people are at different skill levels, then the person that's on the higher skill level is going to consistently win because there's no way for the other person to really hedge their bets. It's just, if you're more 
if you're better at setting people up and trying, you know, trap them into doing what you want them to do, then you're probably going to beat the game person who's not able to do that on a consistent basis. So if you're playing this with kids, which I think you really uh, are going to want to do because kids absolutely stink and love this game, then you are going to have to, you know, kind of put the kid gloves on or just crush them over and over again like I did in my class. Uh, another kind of have this game is that it's very repetitive. You, you're going to be doing the same thing over and over and over again. It's just put on a bead, you put on a bead. Put on a bead, you put on a bead. Put on a bead, you put on a bead. Put on a bead, you put on a bead. Um, any other really cons that I have with the game? You know, I don't know what the cups are for. The cups seem kind of unnecessary. In the box, the box is way too big for what comes inside. Like, really... This should be the size of the box. Like, this entire structure, you know, you take the pins off, put them back in here. This should be should be how large this box should be. It should be a box that looks, like, this large. And instead, it's like this big, stupid box. It's not gigantic. But yeah, this is the kind of box that I should use. This box would have been perfect. So yeah, the box is too big, but hey, that's kind of... that You're used to that if you play a lot of old games. Any other cons I have the game? No. Moving on to the pros... I thought Score 4, I didn't think it was very good. I thought this is great. This is a great freaking abstract strategy game. And it's really hard for me to say this. Because growing up, Connect 4 was my game. I used to love Connect 4. I used to play the snot out of Connect 4. I used to be able to beat adults legitimately with Connect 4. Because I played Connect 4 so stinking much. And I really did like it. But... Connect 4 has issues, and those issues are much more glaringly obvious when you play a game like this, which is kind of like Connect 4, but on steroids, because you have to be looking a bunch of different directions, you have to be looking at it from a three-dimensional perspective, as opposed to the 2D perspective that you're really looking at uh, Connect 4, and this is a Connect 4 killer, it really is, I am going to be getting rid of... Am I going to be getting rid of it? Yeah, I'm going to be getting rid of my copy of SpongeBob Connect 4, which I've had for years and years and years now. I've always had a copy of Connect 4, some different copy of Connect 4, and Score 4 is going to replace it. So Score 4 is not only going into my classroom collection, it's going into my at-home collection because it's just better than Connect 4 in every conceivable way. Uh, so what are those conceivable ways? First, the game just it, it stretches your brain in different ways, and I really do like that. And you'll catch yourself looking at it and rotating it and, like, trying to see all the different angles, and that's a really cool aspect to the game. But also, uh, this is a really fun four-player game. We had a blast playing this as a four-player game, and, and the rules they recommend, and the rule I would absolutely recommend, is making sure that you're not communicating with each other about what you're doing. You can't be like, oh, or ooh, or, or anything like that. You just have to be stone-faced and hope that your opponent and you, or your, your teammate and you, are on the same Wave like like oh man i'm gonna set him up so he can do that and then that's gonna make the other guy do this and we're gonna win but if your opponent doesn't if your your teammate doesn't figure that out they might go somewhere else which might screw up your plans and i really do like that aspect of the game and it also balances out the game more as i mentioned it is an abstract strategy game and if someone's really good at it someone's really you know not good at it person that's really good at it is always going to win but if you put those two people on a team with two other people who are closer to the middle uh you got yourself an even playing field and i really did enjoy it at both two players and at four players so highly recommended at both i'm excited to try it with the different scoring methods but i'm probably not going to do that until my kids get older because honestly i was having a heck of a fun time with it just playing this as a base game and we played this just over and over and over in my classroom so I, i'm doing a, i think it's a, a 10 by 10 challenge i i you know, I got the board game app where it keeps track of all the games you play, and sometimes I miss some, which really bugs me. But uh, we played this ten times. I played this ten times when we first got into the classroom because it just is so quick, it's so fast, it's so snappy. When you're done, you just boop, 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 pick up all the pieces, knock them off to the side. Uh, components are great aside from the box. The rules are clear and concise, and overall, Score 4 is a great abstract strategy game. And This is one of those rare games where I would say, this is actually worth searching out. If your kid really likes Connect 4, and you're looking at this as a family perspective game, I'm looking at this primarily as a family game, and also a children's game. Let me get this straight. It says ages 5 plus, absolutely. I could teach this to my 6-year-old, which I'm actually about to do. We're actually about to shoot a video of us playing it, and me teaching it to him, and he could teach it to another 5 or 6-year-old, no problem. That's how simple the game is, because it's just Connect 4, but 3D Connect 4, and uh, Score 4, great. Absolutely great. Highly recommend this one. I would love to see someone 
uh, reprint this in some manner, uh, potentially with uh, a smaller box. But there you go. Score four. The fascinating new three-dimensional family game. It feels like it's kind of just a ripoff of Connect Four, but it actually improves on Connect Four and kills Connect Four, which hurts my heart to say. So there you go. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. If you want to support the channel, click on that little Amazon link down below. Buy anything on Amazon. Anything at all. And it just, it supports the channel. Throws a couple pennies my way. It's really awesome. And in the show notes down below, or in the comments down below, what is the last game that killed another game in your collection? So for me, obviously, it's score for uh, killing Connect 4. I'm actually going to, I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm going to get rid of Connect 4. You'll see to the next games in, games out. But, ooh, killed something else. That's a really tough question. Um, ooh. Uh, you know, I don't know if I really have one off the top of my head. So I'm just going to cop out. I'm going to give you the lame answer. I'm going to go with score four, killing, connect four, so that way I'm not just sitting here for two minutes at the end of the video trying to make small talk idly to... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm doing it right now, aren't I? Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to go with score four. But let me know in the comments below, what is the last game that got killed from your collection or replaced by another game? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Cold. Cold. That killed. Cold.